Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so Norman and I would be doing justice to um, financing as far as green is concerned. And um, my presentation is going to be very brief, about 15 minutes, but I'll narrow in on the Cow Bank green finance product. First of all, I would like to definitely tell you about Cow Bank because Cow Bank is the bank to be with if you want to go green. And then we will talk about um, the availability of funds as far as green financing is concerned. And um, we will dwell for some time on the Cow Bank specific green finance product, the features, our value proposition, and then I will summarize. So, what is Cow Bank or who is Cow Bank? Um, Cow Bank is um, a private limited liability company. It was incorporated in March 1989. The following year, the bank commenced business as um, a universal bank, and our sole aim was to provide truly differentiated world, bank, world banking solution to the public. In 2004, we were listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange, and we are currently over 50% Ghanaian owned. We pride ourselves in that. And um, the same year, we obtained a universal banking license. As I mentioned previously, we used to be a merchant bank, and then we moved into universal banking so that we could um, provide a wide array of products. Cow Bank is the only Ghanaian bank of the Loan Markets Association, and um, we are happy to also announce that in April 2019, we obtained certification for PCI DSS and ISO 27001. Cow Bank is edge certified. So our products and services, um, we have a wide array of products. Um, our bouquet of offerings range from domestic banking services, international banking services. We have very robust relationships with our international and corresponding banking partners. We offer platinum banking services, treasury services, retail. We are also very corporate oriented, securities trading, funds management, custody services, and asset management, amongst others. The bank's product offerings. Being a universal bank, we, we offer all forms of banking services, and we have expertise in almost every area of banking. As far as business financing is concerned, we offer working capital facilities, which are the short-term facilities. They are term loans from medium to long term. We also do syndicated lending where we lend above our single obligor, project financing, subordinated debt, and structured finance. Trade financing, I've already mentioned that we have very good relationships with our correspondent banks. We have um, a very significant amount in um, funding as far as um, our relationship with our correspondent banks are concerned. We have um, trade and commodity finance products, guarantees, just name it. We have a very dedicated team of relationship officers and teams who handle our relationship management and financial advisory, and they have expertise in the key sectors of the economy. Transactional banking, we offer cash management services, payment solutions, collection services, and um, the like. As far as corporate finance is concerned, we, we work on bonds, structuring, raising of bonds, equity raising, and project financing. But the main reason why we are here today is green financing. And um, green financing, as we all know, combines the world of finance with um, business to ensure that at the end of the day, the environment is protected and um, there is no ad adverse impact on the climate. We do this through loans, debt mechanisms, and investments. As a bank, we are happy to say that um, we have funding of um, 32.5 million United States dollars that we have secured from the French Development Agency through Sunref. And um, Norman will go into details as far as Sunref is concerned. He is the rep for Sunref um, in Ghana, and he's our partner. Sunref um, has actually given Cowbank $20 million to finance green projects. And then the International Finance Corporation, IFC, has also granted the bank $12.5 million 
for financing of renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. I'm sure we all know about renewable energy projects, projects that are sustainable, that are natural, that do not run out, and then en energy efficiency to ensure that um, there's no wastage. We use less to perform the same task. So what's the purpose of green financing in Ghana? The four main purposes of green financing in Ghana will be the reduction of carbon footprints, which means a reduction of the emission of carbon dioxide in the environment, and then also reduction of energy intensity. Energy intensity is a measure of the energy inefficiencies of an economy. And then secondly, we are looking to ensure that there is um, the uninterrupted supply of energy to institutions, individuals, and companies. We also um, expect that we will leverage on such investments in the fields of energy efficiency and renewable energy to help in structuring the strategic sectors of the economy. And um, lastly, um, we will be looking at providing replicable and innovative good examples of what could be performed through local banks, such as what we've done with IFC and um, the French Development Agency. So Cal Bank's green finance product. I am happy to say that Cal Bank is a green bank. We are pay setters as far as green financing is concerned. This building is actually partially green. We can boast of 500 kilowatts of um, installed energy. And this leads to a 40% savings as far as energy is concerned. As if that is not enough, we also have motion sensors in this building to ensure that there's no wastage of energy. Our taps are motion sensored. We actually um, harvest rainwater to ensure that um, we are able to use that for irrigation. We have two boreholes in this building that, um, with treated water. And so we don't depend solely on Ghana water. Again, we have a building management system in place which ensures that all our installations, air conditioners, every, um, lightning are all monitored and regulated. So as far as that is concerned, like I said, Cal Bank is a pay setter. We are very green-minded. We are forward-thinking. And we have a number of initiatives to ensure that um, our green agenda is maximized. In our banking halls, we are paperless. Um, those of you who have visited our branches would know that we, we, we are completely paperless in our banking halls. And um, banking is a partnership. So if you want to go on this journey with Cal Bank, you are more than welcome. We have secured funding of over $32.5 million dollars. And we are willing to support our clients in this journey. So what would qualify a client to um, partake in this laudable venture? There are a number of um, eligibility criteria. An individual or an institution must satisfy just one of these. We've already mentioned renewable energy products, um, projects, sorry. That's solar, wind, biogas, geothermal, and the likes. And renewable energy, of course, we've mentioned it, it's otherwise referred to as clean energy. We ensure that um, th it doesn't run out, it's sustainable, and therefore there are no interruptions. Energy efficiency pro projects, these should lead to at about 20% energy savings. And um, examples are building retrofits, um, replacement and modernization of industrial and agricultural machinery. And a number of the initiatives I mentioned um, as far as Cal Bank is concerned, also goes to ensure that we are efficient as far as energy is concerned. The projects must also be a green building project, which means that there must be certification. Cal Bank has certification from EDGE, and there are a number of other certification bodies. There's LEED, there's BREAM South Africa, and so um, that is also one of the criteria. The last criteria is um, that the projects must improve the environment. We are all aware about climate change and all that. We have to make sure that all hands on deck are on deck to ensure that the environment is protected. So these are the main highlights of the pro product features that um, a client must satisfy to be able to partake in this. What is our value proposition? Loan amount. We are looking at um, up to about $3 million dollars. 
But in instances where the project is very viable and we undertake our analysis and we believe that um, the client requires more, we can go up to about $8 million as far as funding is concerned. Tenor, to ensure that there is flexibility, we, we give um, very generous tenors. We For energy efficiency, we go up to in excess of three years. The minimum is three years. And for renewable energy, we will be doing a minimum of five years. Interest rates, which is um, what most clients would be interested in, is highly competitive. But it's not cast in stone. And so I am, I'm not going to mention specifics here. But on the basis of the risk factors that we look at. But I, I can tell you for a fact that they are extremely competitive. It's below the bank's um, base rates, the normal rates that we would be lending at. And we are all aware that um, such projects are quite capital intensive. So we have been generous enough to give um, a moratorium of up to 12 months. That's a grace period on the repayment of the principal amount for up to 12 months. In the event that the project is executed and um, it ticks all the boxes, the EU has been generous enough to give a grant of up to 10% of the loan amount. So what are the procedures? How do you um, benefit from the Calban Green Finance product? First of all, there must be a formal request from the client. Formal request states in the amount, the purpose, etc. What we do to shorten the process is that right from inception, we involve our financial partners. We would involve Sunref from the inception so that they also conduct their assessments concurrently just to shorten the time. We would require definitely the company information, project information, financial information. And then definitely we would have to undertake some environmental and social management assessment. So our officers in charge of that would also conduct their analysis to ensure that the business, the project, meets the environmental and social standards of the bank. And like I mentioned, um, Sunref, we, we work with Sunref to ensure that um, we shorten the turnaround time for delivery. Security. So the collateral for this is usually um, the equipment financed by the bank assignment of business proceeds, and then any other adequate security. But this is a partnership. And so, like I said before, this is not cast in stone. We would engage the business, and depending on what um, would be easier for both parties, we would settle on it. To the extent that it's a win-win for both parties, we shouldn't have a problem. And... Um, we're already at the end. So in summary, we, we've mentioned that um, there are numerous financial opportunities for individuals, corporates, small and medium enterprises, as far as green financing is concerned. Cal Bank is a pay setter in green financing, and we are willing, ready, and able to partner with any individual company or institution that wants to go green. We are... Uh, we will definitely share our details and you can contact us. We are all about the environment, the green agenda. We must deliberately ensure that we, we make it happen. So all too soon, I'm done with my presentation and I'll pass it on to um, Norman. We'll take questions when Norman is done. All right, thanks. Uh, so thank you, everyone. So my name is uh, Norman Michaud, uh, as was mentioned. Um, I'm with um, a company uh, called Econolaire, uh, based in Canada. So it's a consultancy firm that uh, specializes in uh, sustainable energy, uh, green finance, uh, energy efficiency, and renewable energy. Um, we were selected in this case by uh, the French Development Agency to manage the SunRef program in Ghana. So what exactly is the SunRef program? So it was a, uh, there are some you know, information that was already provided by, uh, by Cynthia, so I'll try to go quickly on it. But basically, 
Uh, you need to understand that the SunRef program is something um, that have been uh, implemented in many countries over the last years. Uh, it's been going around for a while. It is uh, the French agency development um, financing tools for green energy, uh, green projects, so energy efficiency, renewable energy, and environment. So this is a tool that the French development agency has been using for years. Uh, when I say years, um, it is something that has been implemented in more than 30 countries uh, as of now, and even it should be around 32 or 33 this year. Uh, this one in Ghana is the latest one. Uh, it's been uh, now we we uh, we launched the uh, the program officially in July, but um, we've been here uh, since January, starting to you know starting to launch the event. Uh, since then, other countries have been in, have, been, have started their own SunREF program also with the EFD. So uh, Tunisia is is one of the country also that started this year. But um, just to give you an idea, they've been implementing SunREF program in more than 30 countries as of now. Um, to and they've um, they've done investment of 2.6 billion dollars. So it's it's pretty big. Um, they, uh, most of those programs were, of course, in Africa, a lot, you know, some in Asia, some in East Europe. Uh, so there's a lot of, of, um, of, uh, of knowledge there, and it, it's not the first one. It's been done before, when, and we knew how to do it, and they know how to, uh, how to help the market you know, um, in, in this kind of, uh, of subject. So uh, in this case, some of the program always include three components. Uh, the first one, of course, is the credit line. We just mentioned it uh, before. So Carl Bank has uh, received a portion of that credit line, which is available for borrowers. Uh, there's also an investment grant that was mentioned, which is provided uh, by the uh, European Union. And the, the third component is the technical assistance, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, well, I'm, me and, and, and the team also with me, of course. Um, it is a partnership in, in, in Ghana. The partnership is from, of course, the AFD, the AU, and here we have the Energy Commission that is also involved as a partner. Um, why the Energy Commission? Um, I mean, we're talking about green building here, so everyone involved in green building in, in Ghana would know uh, that if you want to do uh, you no know, PV system for installation, uh, Energy Commission has to certify, have to ver uh, verify those systems. There's a list of uh, installators that are certified. Also, it's done by the Energy Commission. There's a list of uh, companies that are allowed to import those system and it's also something done by the energy commission so the energy commission is already involved in everything that is related to energy efficiency and renewable energy uh, so they were uh, of course the best partner that we could get you know for launching uh, the sunref program here uh, finally just to mention the technical assistance that i'm going to talk about and what we're providing here it's a service that is free uh, basically it's paid by the eu so uh, do not think that you know it's going to be an additional fee for example on a loan this is not something that Carl Bank has to pay for. This is not something that the borrowers have to pay for. Uh, every support that we're doing here, it's, it's free, and it's just to help the market develop uh, quickly. Uh, so we already mentioned the, uh, the objective before um, about SunRef in terms of reducing the energy ten high density and, of course, securing energy supply. Um, Ghana is one of the, those, uh, the, those countries that have a good uh, power supply right now, but of course, I think all of us now have, have seen like there's still some power outage. Um, and, and if we can uh, promote more energy efficiency, of course, uh, to reduce the energy consumption, if we can promote renewable energy also, it would help you know, secure that energy supply so that we'll see less power outage in the future, which is something that you now everyone wants. Um, we really want to make sure that we have something that is replicable in the future. The SunRef program is here. It's going to be here for the next years, uh, maybe you know, three years, four years. Um, it might be, uh, there might be a phase two afterward. There might be more, but we still are doing everything that we can right now uh, with the objective in mind that this is something um, that's going to help transform the market. And even if SunRef stop in three years, it, it's going to go on in terms of wanting the, uh, the, you know, the private, the, the local banks to invest more in those types of projects in terms of, of training them to so that they have a better understanding and they see renewable energy and energy efficiency as, as a new focus, as something that they, they need to be involved in more. They need to help the market develop this more. So even if, if SunRef stops at one point after investing you know, the, uh, the $20 million that we mentioned with Carl Bank, uh, Carl Bank will have a core team and will have people that understand those types of projects and, and will continue to promote it and work with the market to implement more uh, projects like that and transform the market even more. 
Um, so we already mentioned the institutional partners. So uh, the partner bank right now, CallBank, is, 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 the, uh, is the partner, and we're um, still working with GCB. Uh, GCB will be a partner, but later on. Um, the technical assistance is provided by my company, as I mentioned, Ecolera, but we also have a local uh, partner uh, with Kite, a local company. So the technical assistance that we provide, they also have really good engineers that, then, uh, that can help us uh, do some analysis on the projects that are submitted, for example, and even do some, some site visit and help the local borrowers. Uh, so as I mentioned, so since we want the local partners, the, the banks, to have a, a better knowledge and better understanding of those projects, uh, we are doing a lot of capacity building with them. So we're training them um, to, to know a little bit more how to, um, how, how to better understand the benefit of such projects. So if you're doing a green buildings, for example, and, and your uh, equipment and your, you know, your building is a bit more expensive than, than a normal building, uh, but you're, uh, you're gonna be investing in high quality equipment and high efficient equipment, and you're gonna be saving electricity on the next you know, 25 years, um, it is part of the, um, of, the, uh, of the knowledge of the analysis that a bank has to be able to do. I mean, they have to be able to understand have an impact, for example, um, on your that operation is cost, that it's going to reduce your consumption of fuel or electricity in the future, and that the, 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 it should be willing to, to push forward, you know, to have those high quality building because it ensure um, that it's going to be, you know, bring more benefit to the company or the, of the household or the, the individuals and in, uh, implementing those measures. Uh, so we're working with them, and of course we're providing the support to the bank to better understand those projects. So um, now we don't expect the banks to be, uh, you know, all full engineers that understand everything about renewable energy or energy efficiency. Um, we understand, we uh, we hope, no, we expect them to to know a little bit more about it and be able to run some analysis. But we're still going to be here to provide them that that um, that full support on technical assessment. So uh, we will uh, review all projects. We will review you know, the technical aspect of our, of our projects to make sure that it is uh, a good project that is using like the good equipment, uh, that the calculation that have been done in terms of you know, what are the benefit exactly in terms of reduction of electricity or in terms of generation of power, uh, does it make sense? Now, is it, uh, are the calculation good? Um, are we safe you know, uh, to invest in, so, in such a project? So we are here to provide them um, like an approval on projects in terms of technical aspect. So hopefully this reduces the, the risk that the bank have, right? I mean, if the bank knows that it's a good project technically, it's, it's, uh, it's less risky for them to go forward and invest. Uh, we also have to work with the borrowers, so the clients, those that want to do green buildings, for example. Uh, we, uh, I mean, we're not going to design the full project for them, but anyone who needs more information, who wants to understand what is available, I mean, someone who wants to develop a new building, for example, who wants to understand what are the technologies that are available uh, here in the market and what can be done. So, uh, and, and, or someone who's working on uh, retrofitting his building, maybe. Someone who wants to do some retrofit, uh, retrofit uh, work, I'd like to invest on, on renovation. Uh, what exactly can be done? Or what would be the impact if I work on insulation, for example, or if I change a window, or if I install high-efficient uh, equipment such as AC um, or rooftop, like PV system on the rooftop? So exactly what would happen? How, how could you quantify uh, you know, the benefit that, that I would get? So we can work with the borrowers on better understanding this, uh, running some quick analysis with them so that they have a, a better idea of the numbers, right? I mean, how much? And then also point them out to the right company. So who here, you know, who here in Ghana can help those uh, builders or borrowers uh, develop this project? So who are allowed to do it first and who have the knowledge to do it? So this is also something that we can provide to borrowers. Um, of course, we're going to try to do more awareness raising um, on the program, but also on the uh, on the topics, right, of green buildings, of the benefit of it. Um, so we're, we're um, you know, this is part of it, I would say, but we're also going to do more uh, roadshow, more, uh, we go to different cities to present uh, the program and the mini benefit. We'll work on social media to provide, um, you know, advertisement and marketing that can be used. Um, so who can benefit? Uh, basically, everyone. So the, the local, uh, no, the, the individual in Ghana, anyone, uh, any individual or household in Ghana is eligible, they, and they can get a loan for uh, from Call Bank on the Sunref program. Uh, also, any local company. It has to be a company that is registered in Ghana. So international companies are allowed, but they have to have an office registered in Ghana. So if they want to do a green building. 
Um, you know, th th this is the condition, of course. Um, we also can work with uh, energy performance contractors. So the companies, for example, that would uh, want to work on developing green buildings, uh, be it on working on the installation or on installing PV system and, and doing some kind of lease contract with the company. Um, this is also something that we can work on in terms of loan and in terms of financing. So don't hesitate to reach out to us and ask us. Uh, we already mentioned what, was, uh, what can be financed, right? The eligible project uh, in this case is our renewable energy. So, of course, when we talk about green building, um, solar uh, panels would be one of, uh, one of the most popular renewable energy projects that we would see. Uh, but there might be something else depending on the, um, on the sector. Energy efficiency, we, we can do new building uh, from scratch, financing, or we can do also retrofit. And environmental, which you know, apply a little bit less on, on green buildings, but uh, for us, any projects that can show you no know, reduction of green greenhouse gas emission, for example, is something that we also want to finance. Um, Cynthia already mentioned the, uh, the financing conditions, so I'm not going to go in, into that uh, detail. Uh, maybe just to explain a little bit about the process. Um, of course, um, we, uh, we don't want to be uh, spending too much time and, and putting, no, we don't want to put any delay on a loan uh, analysis, on a loan assessment. So when you go to the bank and you ask for a loan and they have to review your, uh, your projects and your company, uh, the work that we would do in terms of technical review and in terms of approval uh, will ne should never bring any delay to the, to the normal process. Uh, but still, uh, to make sure that we can even be you know, uh, even faster, we have two approaches in this case. So what we propose to, um, uh, what we have at CalBank, we have um, what we call like the smaller projects. So the small scale projects for us are any project uh, smaller than 200,000 USD uh, for a loan. Uh, we, we would see it as a uh, small scale. And what we've done is that we've developed a list of eligible measure and equipment, basically. So we have a list of equipment. The SunREF program, as we mentioned, here is based at the Energy Commission. So if you go on the Energy Commission website, you'll see, uh, you'll see a page on the SunREF program. And on it, you also see, you will see what we call the LEMI, the List of Eligible Measure and Equipment. So it's provided there. So you can have a look at that, and you can see um, if you want to install AC or if you want to install uh, PV system, for example, what exactly are the equipment that are already approved. So you know that if you're doing a project and you're installing those equipment, uh, for sure you will be available to SunRef. And if it's uh, under 200,000, as we mentioned, as long as you just use the equipment that we, that we, that we have on the list, it's approved directly. So it's, no, it's, it's something that is done in one day. In one day, we have a look at the equipment you're using, and we just uh, provide a certificate of approval to call bank. So uh, it's really fast. When we talk about larger scale projects for green building, for example, so if someone was constructing a new green building, uh, maybe more for the you know, uh, commercial uh, sector or industrial, and they want to do something bigger uh, with PV system maybe, or something with uh, higher insulation and boilers and uh, you know, high efficiency boilers for uh, our um, uh, water pumping, more efficient water, pump, water pumping or air compressor, you know, everything that is eligible here. We would uh, we would have to, to, to run maybe a little bit more uh, in-depth analysis, but it's still something uh, you know, that we do within a week. So uh, as you would understand the process for loan approval, um, you know, we would be working at the same time with CallBank and, and, and running that technical assessment. So um, it is, is not something that requires too much effort on the borrower side. We expect that the information is already there. It's just that we have to run our own analysis to make sure that the, you know, we understand the impact of the project. So in terms of energy savings, in terms of renewable energy, we need, also, you know, we need to run the numbers to see, okay, how much exactly are we talking about in terms of savings and how much are we talking about in terms of uh, uh, generating energy. And we're also here to help you. So if a borrower is, is presenting a project and we review it, you can be sure that if we approve it, it means it's a good quality project. So it gives you um, this confirmation, you know, make, make you more confident about the, the investment that you're doing. But we're also going to help you if we think that there's something that needs improving, uh, if we think that there's some equipment that would be better, um, if we think that there's a design that would be a little bit more um, uh, no, uh, 
would bring more confidence in your project, we will get back to you. We will open a channel of discussion and we will talk to you about it. So we would try to see with you how it can be uh, improved, for example. Um, so you can also see it now as a way of us now helping you, uh, making sure that you're investing you know, your money in something that's going to work. Um, so basically the process, you know, uh, um, we already mentioned it, but when it's a LEMI project, you no know, small scale project, is, it's a little bit faster. When it's a non-LEMI project, so a bigger scale, we need to do a full um, evaluation. Um, but it's done quickly, as we mentioned. The, the, other, the last thing I want to mention is maybe about the grant money. So we mentioned that the EU is providing a grant uh, of up to 10%. Um, so that grant money of up to 10%, um, it is being provided uh, to call bank and apply on the loan um, once the project is implemented. So basically you sign your loan, you get the money, you start implementing your project. Once it's done, we need to do a verification that it was done, how we approve it. And we want to make sure that if we approve something, this is what was installed, of course. So once, we, uh, once your project is implemented, once your building is constructed, we do a site visit, we verify that the equipment that we approve has been, has been implemented correctly. Um, and at that point, the grant money is disbursed. When we say disbursed, the way it's, it's done is that call bank uh, take that money, the, the, the grant money, and just apply it on your loan, on your principal. So it, it, no, if, if it takes you like three months to install the equipment, you have your loan, and after three months, you see a reduction on your principal uh, to reduce your, uh, your loan amount by 10%. So this is, this is what we offer here. Um, and I think that's it for my uh, presentation. So this is a global overview. And as, I, as we mentioned, do not hesitate to reach out to us. There's a, a dedicated team at CallBank uh, to, uh, that works on this uh, green product on Sunref. Uh, so you can reach out to CallBank directly and they will point you out to the right people that are going to uh, work with you and talk with you about the Sunref. You also have my contact here, and we also have the, uh, you'll see that the SunRef program is also based at the Energy Commission, so there's a contact at the Energy Commission. You can also reach out to us directly if you want to ask questions on the technical aspect and you want to ask questions about the projects. Both channels are open, and, and both channels are going to lead you know, to the, to, at the end of the day to uh, a loan uh, to implement such projects, so you can reach out to us that way. Thank you.